Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about why being stupid is actually very good for you. And this is especially in social situations, especially when you're in high school. Being stupid is good for you. <laughs> let's, let's be real. And I'll have to explain this, but hear me out. It's basically, a lot of people these days are trying to be that, that Sigma male, right? <laughs> the guy that doesn't talk to anyone, doesn't really joke around because he thinks, oh, it's unprofessional. Oh, it's, uh, it's lame. It's for losers, you know. I'm I'm grinding on myself. <laughs> oh god, I lived like that for a long time, and it's honestly the stupidest thing you can do. Like, what you think is stupid, isn't actually the stupid thing to do. Because here's the thing. You're basically just depriving yourself of social connection, of that feeling of belonging. You're purposefully doing that to yourself, and that's really, really bad for you. There's this one book that's really popping up these days. I think it's uh, The Courage to Be Disliked. I forgot the author. You can search it up yourself. But basically, that sense of belonging is so important for us humans because, well, we're, we're group animals. All our lives, we've been, ha we've been part of a group, a part of a tribe, part of a cult. <laughs> so the fact that you're forcefully, what's the word? isolating yourself from other people that's the stupidest thing you can ever do and choosing not to joke around is also just so dumb i remember all the times where i decided i didn't want to joke around with the others i wanted to be serious right i wanted to be complex i wanted to be fancy schmancy <laughs> a pompous little <laughs> brat you know but i realized i was jealous i'm sure you, you probably think this too right just admit I am jealous. Raise your hand up and say, I am jealous. I am jealous of those happy-go-lucky, fun guys, you know, the popular kids that always get other people to laugh. And even, I have to admit, I laugh. I'm, I'm sure you do too at some points. Like, they're actually funny. <laughs> A lot of them are actually pretty funny these days. So, I'm sure that you probably think that you should be the mature one, right? that you don't need jokes, you don't need to, you don't need to have friends and stuff. But honestly, just being stupid and having fun with the other people, that's one of the best skills you can learn as at this age. That's that socializing skill, that bond building skill. Because frankly, joking, joking, just being stupid and joking is one of the most important things a man does. Cuz how else is a man supposed to like make friends with other men? they make jokes with each other they, they, sometimes it's like racist jokes sometimes it's a <laughs> sometimes it's just absolutely brutal jokes with each other but that's just how it is for men that's how we're supposed to be living and so that's why we're supposed to be joking with each other of course don't go out of line if it's a person you're not very close with you don't know very well you don't want to do an offensive joke just yet right but you can still just have a fun stupid little conversation with them right like Oh, how is the weather today? Oh, it's nice. Blah, blah, blah. It, that's fine. And then you can joke around like, oh my God, this teacher sucks. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying to bad mouth people, but yeah, some teachers do suck. <laughs> but yeah, I do think you should be joking around with other people in your class. And especially if the, the funny kids are talking to you, right? They're joking with you. Joke back with them. Why not? And you can joke with the girls too. Um, that's really important because how how else do you think the jocks attract the girls right there are lots of popular kids right there are lots of these popular kids that get a girl and you have no idea how the hell they get them right sometimes you pass by you walk in the mall and you pass by this really fat ugly dude and i i'm, I'm really short but sometimes i do this i pass by in the mall and i see this dude no offense but <laughs> dude if you're watching <laughs> but if i see this short fat no offense ugly dude shorter than me and i'm really short i'm really short shorter than me and he has like a beautiful wife beside him uh, they're usually not like super beautiful but they're pretty right and it's crazy how do you think they got that because they were funny <laughs> they were they tried you know they tried socially and that's a lot of things that's one of the things kids these days don't do they don't try socially and i know a lot of people do but a lot of people don't not enough and that's one thing you should be trying to do every day just try to make a fun dumb joke with other people try not to be too afraid if it's offensive but obviously don't do anything too upset 
too offensive. Start off small and then slowly build up. If they're starting to make offensive jokes, maybe you can join in a bit. <laughs> just don't uh, don't direct it at anyone specific, preferably. But yeah, just have fun with it because you're you're a kid. You're supposed to learn how to socialize with people. And believe me, I avoided that for so long, and I really do regret it. I really do regret not having that sort of social confidence, that presence with other people. And that's one of the biggest regrets I have in my life. Just not going out more often with my friends, not making more friends, not just joking around with people. Because I was scared I'd get in trouble or something. But hey, let's be real. The funny kids never get in trouble because they're so funny. Even the teachers laugh at their offensive jokes. That's the goal we need to be. That's the goal we need to get to. All right. (laughs) That's the self-improvement skill we need to focus on more. Just being so funny that... Even if you do make an offensive joke, the teachers are still on your side, you know? That's that's our goal. And I really do think we should be focusing on this much more often. And just social skills are so much more important than we really do realize. Because that friendship, you know, the power of friendship, that's the lifeblood of our existence, you know? Connections with other people. That's crucial for humans' existence, and so we must do everything in our power so that we can ensure that we can have that good social life, that good connection with other people. And believe me, if you take my advice and just every day try to make one funny joke to the class, all right? It can be during a discussion, maybe the teacher's asking you a question, just make a funny joke. It can be even a stupid dad joke, (laughs) and that could be funny. Just do it with confidence, all right? Just turn your brain off, shut up, and say the joke. Right, shut your brain up, but your voice should actually like, come out. So don't actually shut up, <laughs> but you get what I mean. Just have fun, all right? If people are joking around with you, joke with them. Join in. Join in the fun because you know you want to be part of it. You know you want to be part of it. You just, you're too, you're too afraid to be part of it. You're too afraid to join in, but you can. And I'm sure a lot of people would welcome you. And they'll laugh at your jokes. Just try your best to be more social with other people. Just try your best to be stupid a bit. And believe me, that stupid life is so much more fun than that pompous high up. What's that word? Um, Big headed life, believe me. Just having fun with other people and enjoying the time you have with them. Just saying all the funny jokes you want to say. That's the life you want to be living. Alright? So yeah, keep grinding, of course. Keep learning. Keep improving. But this is one thing you have to improve here. Just try your best to be more stupid, I guess. And that'll be the end of this video. So keep fighting for a better tomorrow.